time. What's up, bro? This is a video, this is you talking to yourself in the future. And right now, the day is... Uh, yo! You just sit on the counter, just make sure Harley can't get it, yo. Thanks, dude. Massively appreciate it, homie. Alright, right now I'm sitting on the fucking toilet. <sighs> Trying to shit. I actually have... Mm, I did take a good shit earlier. But, um... It was just one today. Um, and it was very liquidy. Um, anyway, the day the date is... Wednesday, the 7th of June, and I am coming to the end of my second day of creative withdrawal, and um, it's been up and down, I haven't slept for basically two days, I feel like shit, my body doesn't feel good, my mind doesn't feel good, feels like mm, if it just feels uncomfortable to be in my own body which is really just mm, it's not fun I'm not having a good time I'm not enjoying this at all um, I'm glad that I'm getting off of this crap and moving on with my life but um, I don't feel good at all I feel like shit I feel really like I feel like dog shit um, I'm getting chills I'm just getting some right now, actually. Um, um, it's, my, it's hard to even think straight or like keep a, a coherent string of thoughts together right now. Um, I'm exhausted. I, you could probably just see under my eyes. I'm absolutely exhausted. I haven't been sleeping. I'm so fucking tired. I just want to sleep so bad, but I can't. I can't. The shit doesn't let you sleep when you're coming off it. Um, I get hot and cold flashes, like at the drop of a hat. Uh, I can go from feeling too hot to too cold in like a matter of fucking seconds. Um, which doesn't sound that bad, but it's miserable when, when you're in the middle of this whole process. Um, it's kind of just on top of everything else. <laughs> sucks. Um, I've managed to keep my head up. Um, I went to work today. Um, worked all day. I was so fucking tired, but I, you know, I, I show up to work and I work. I don't show up and fuck around. Um, that's just not how, that's just not how I am. Um, so far I've been keeping, I think, a good attitude about this whole thing. And you know, trying to stay positive, keep my head up. Um, I've got other things going on in life too. Uh, that are unfortunately also related to substance abuse problems, but um, those aren't immediately affecting me the same way this creative withdrawal is. And I just want to say, oh God, you know, bro, from your past self to your future self, don't touch the shit again. Don't get on this stuff again. Don't fucking look at this stuff again. Um, ask yourself, was it worth it to feel kind of good a couple hours a day? Because I don't think it was. I, I, I'd rather learn how to feel good without uh, putting my body through a bunch of shit and getting addicted to shit all the time and using fucking drugs. I'd rather just figure out how to feel good naturally. Used to, you know, you used to be a weightlifter. You used to be healthy. You used to look good. You used to take care of yourself. And um, I want you to do that more. I want you to take more care, better care of yourself. Um, let's see what else. Um, uh, this stuff really also damp just puts a damper on your spirit and your spirituality in general um, I don't know what else I have to say really um, uh, 
Uh, just, just whenever you're feeling like you want to get back on some shit or you want to start taking some weird shit that you don't fully understand, watch this fucking video and remember how miserable it really was to have to fucking uh, like work your way out of this pit you've dug for yourself. Um, if you're tired of digging yourself out of pits, stop digging fucking pits, homie. Stop doing it. Um, learn to learn to learn to spot when you're gonna fall into a you know a pit trap and fucking stop yourself before you jump right in. Cause that's what you did with Kratom, man. You you knew there were the fucking risks and you ignored them. And now you're you're suffering now because you have no ignored the, the wisdom and um, the advice. Now you fucking now you're going through it. I'm glad in some ways, in some regards, um, that I'm kind of building a strength to get over this kind of thing and move on. Um, and I think just after this, I want to start focusing on making a life for myself that um, I'm happy with, and that I don't feel like I need to put weird shit in my body to be happy. That's what I want. Um, I think that's about all I've got for now. But um, I'll probably I might I might make more videos in the future as I continue going through this. Um, I might actually even I might actually even like release this video like publicly or might upload it to Reddit or something. I don't know. But. Um, I guess if I, I, I go, I'll include a little thing in here just for, you know, if I plan on doing that. Um, to anyone out there who is going through Kratom withdrawal or is addicted to Kratom and you want to get off of it, um, or if you're thinking about doing Kratom for the first two, um, if you're going through the withdrawals, you already know the shit sucks. Um, I have tried a lot of things at this point. Um, and I'm going to keep trying things to alleviate how bad this is, um, to try to sleep, fucking just to relax. I mean, it's so hard to even just sit down right now and, and not feel like shit because eventually I might feel good for like a couple minutes and then it just creeps in and I start feeling that restless legs and that prickly, tingly feeling in my extremities and there's like this weird like sensation that just goes up and down my torso. In, in, like it's probably just my central nervous system um, going through massive fucking shock right now because I'm lacking in dopamine so bad. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, if you're going through it, you already know. Best thing you can do, dude, is <laughs> best thing you can do, dude. Um, the best thing that you can do for yourself is try to just start cultivating an attitude of strength. Um, try to tell yourself, I'll get through this, I'll be okay. Remember there was a time in your life before you took Kratom, and you were okay back then, and you can get back to that point. You've just got to fucking tough it out until, you know, until the withdrawals go away, and you can get back to that person again, and you can kind of like start living your life again. Like, I'm smiling just thinking about it because I'm excited. Um, to get back to the person that I was before I let this plan um, invade my life and invade my time and my, my finances and uh, my emotions. And yeah, I, I want to get back to the point where I didn't need this shit. I, I abuse it all the time. Um, so just try to remember that if you're going through it. Um, if you're someone who is actively addicted to Kratom and you want to get off of it, I'll tell you what I've done, and <laughs> you might not want to do this, cause, uh, or you might not even be able to. I understand if you're not able to, because the this shit is no joke. You will be suffering probably for a while. I mean, I, I just started, like I said, this is the end of day two. Um, maybe I get lucky, and it doesn't last that long, and I get over it in a couple days. That'd be great. I highly doubt that'll be the case, though, because I've been abusing this stuff for at least four years. And all kinds of different dosages and strains all throughout that time. 
So my body's just fucking enslaved to the kratom plant. Like I, I it's like it had like a hypnotic fucking hold on me. Um, but if you're someone who's wanting to get off it, um, what worked for me was um, really before uh, deciding to get off of it, um, just practicing mindfulness, um, meditation. Um, these these kinds of things can help you. Oh, I've got a hair in my mouth. Uh, these kinds of things can help you kind of um, notice that it's become a problem, or notice that uh, you do have a problem with it. Um, that was for me like that was the that was really the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, I started realizing that it's not really just kratom. Um, actually, I've had alcohol abuse problems. I've had uh, problems with weed. Uh, which might sound silly, but honestly, it's been a problem for me. Um, just in general, I've just had a bad relationship with substances in my life. Uh, yeah, try to, you know, try to think about that. And um, for me, once I realized that it was a problem, once I realized that I was addicted to it, um, and I started to recognize the grasp it had over my life, I tied it up, I threw it in the fucking trash can, and I haven't looked back. Um, I, that was two days ago, <laughs> so I'm making it sound all epic, but it was, it was like two days ago I fucking did that. Um, that's all, uh, you have to hit the point where you're done. That's, that's the best advice I can give you. If you're not done, you're not gonna stop. Um, if you can't look at parts of your life and realize that it's just not doing anything good for you anymore, and that's kind of the thing, it's not gonna do anything horribly bad to you. Um, it could. Depending on how severely you're abusing it, it could. There are cases of that happening. I don't think that's the majority of the cases. Most people get by fine on it. Um, however, like, think about this. Like, if you're a man, or, I, I mean, this isn't like a man-only problem, but, like, it, your testosterone levels will get tanked by this stuff. Um, I mean, why would you want that? That's just not good for you. That's not healthy. That's going to fuck your mental health up. I mean, I've had so many mental health issues since I started Kratom and abused it. Um, probably just due to the fact that I fucked my dopamine reward system up so badly with this shit. Because um, I thought it was fucking okay. I thought it was safe. Um, so I just used it willy-nilly. I had no respect for it at all. Um, but yeah, it will wreck your hormones. Especially if you're using it over a long period of time. High dosage. Oh, no shit. Uh, high dosage um, and a long time, it will fuck your hormones up. Um, I think that's part of why my withdrawals are just really bad right now. Um, it's because like my hormones are <laughs> well, like, whoa, what the fuck is happening now that the kratom's not in my body? Um, and it's trying to return to stasis, and it hurts. It's miserable. Um, yeah, just think about that. Um, consider consider that it's it can have bad effects on your mental health. Um, it can cause you to stagnate in life a lot because you're teaching yourself a really bad habit, uh, which is to uh, if you want dopamine, do drugs. I mean that's kind of really what it teaches you, um, which is a fight. It's an awful episode. It's an awful. Ugh, I'm all mixed up. Um, it's an awful lesson to learn. You don't want to live your life based on that, Maxim. Um, and for anyone considering trying Kratom or doing it, I'm not going to sit here as someone who's abused it for four years and tell you, oh, you know, you're an idiot or, oh, that's stupid or, or what a terrible, dumb idea. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Um, that's kind of always how it goes with any substance abuse. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it. Um, no amount of any or talking is going to change your mind. Um, so my advice would be though to um, try try to figure out what's pushing you to do to do it. Try to figure out like the the, the root of the problem. Because um, for me, I know I took kratom. I I took it to mask the the emotional my emotions. Um, I never learned how to cope with my emotions very well. Um, and I, that's kind of just led to a really long history of abusing substances to cope with my feelings and cope with um, 
the burden of existence, as I like to call it. Um, I think a lot of other addicts can relate to that. Um, but yeah, just try to just try to be mindful. In fact, really, that's the best step you can really make to improving your entire life. Is uh, learn to be mindful, learn to keep track of your thoughts, learn to control your reactions, and um, and don't be a slave to your own mind. Um, and then you can avoid getting in situations like this if you learn how to do that early. Um, anyway, that's that's all I got to say. I don't I don't want to make a I don't want to make a super long video here. But yeah, um, this is made really primarily for myself in the future to look back and remind myself that I don't want to be this guy again. I don't want to. Um, I want to be healthy and I want to be someone that I respect. And I hope that you feel that way too about yourself. Um, and yeah, feel free to join me on this adventure of uh, getting healthy and not being an addict anymore. Peace.